It was a relatively quiet week on Capitol Hill. Speaker Paul Ryan had his first week and was able to pass a highway bill that Congress has been struggling with for decades. But the real drama is still going on on the campaign trail. Our Washington Bureau correspondent Alex Miller is live in Washington, D.C. Alex, the Republican candidates clearly weren't happy with the last debate. What are they really hoping will change in the next debate? Well, they're hoping a lot will change, but the likelihood that every single d demand that they've made will change isn't so high. So what happened was they drafted a letter that they want every network, with the exception of Fox News, to sign, basically agreeing to terms before they'll commit to doing this debate. Some of these demands are simple. They want to have equal time, which seems fair enough. But then they started getting into some nitty-gritty details. They want the room to be at 67 degrees. They don't want to raise their hands when they're asked a question. They also are concerned about the moderators, and they might want to have a little bit of a shakeup. Now, Ted Cruz was on the campaign trail earlier this week talking about this. Listen to his idea. You have never voted in a Republican primary in your life. You don't get to moderate a Republican primary debate. Now, Carly Fiorina and Chris Christie have basically said that all these other candidates need to stop complaining and just show up to the debate. But as of last night, Fox Business has relegated Chris Christie and Mike Huckabee to that junior debate and kicked George Governor Pataki and uh, Senator Lindsey Graham out completely. Now, this is a very wide pool, and it has been for a long time. And I think that these networks are trying to whittle down the amount of people that are going to be in these debates. Alex Miller reporting live from Washington, D.C. Alex, thank you very much for joining us again this morning.